Good morning. So last night I went to bed at half seven. It's my sixth day in a row at work. Um, I've had a couple of yo-yo shifts. Um, it's called upwards. Um, I'm just tired. Um, I got forced to watch the Brit Awards the other night. Um, I was getting to go to bed. So last night I went to bed at half seven and I put Armageddon on. I ended up watching Armageddon three different times. Um, watched it, blinked, missed a little bit, watched the tail end, then started listening to the comedy track, blinked, woke up, darkness, blinked. Put the over commentary on with the over careers and stuff. And just woke up and it's absolutely bolt like it's freezing cold. Cars bleed frozen out on the road. I'm like brilliant. Just go back to go to work. And then I've got to meet Britain Newcastle in one of these hotels we've had for ages. It's landed and I think me and Brit both were like, oh, now that's like kept up crypt. Kept up crypt. Creeped up quick. Um oh man, it's just like I need sleep. I had sleep. I don't think I've had sleep. I don't think I'm awake. But welcome to this vlog. I suppose it does look a bit dangerous if I was walking like that. So I don't know if you've seen it. Check out the Instagram at the shop. Um, we did a video yesterday and uh, I decided since no one's claimed this in 20 years and I was there when it was done, I've decided it's mine. But uh, as I was walking, when I leave work, I've got to walk out the back door, then back into the metro centre to get near the car. And the security stopped us, thought I was walking with a bit of glass. <laughs> They're like, what have you got in your hand? I was like, it's an award, it was like, congratulations. I went, yeah, thanks, man. The car's are frozen, I can't even get into the boot from outside. For fuck's sake. <clears throat> that and that, please. The fuck, why would you make it so hard? get into the boot from inside the car. Fucking minis, man. So, I'm at work um, because I was late leaving and the traffic's just mental. Why is a bus lane towards a roundabout for a quarter of a mile and then everyone just wants, I want to turn right. It's a fucking absolute fiasco, the roundabout. But that's that run over with. Um, now that I don't have a beard, you can probably see that line there is a scar from when I was about six or seven. Um, I fell off my bike and I had a polystyrene helmet on. So I had a helmet on. The helmet was actually cracked. Um, I remember Daniel Hagen from school um, helping us up just outside my Auntie Janice's house. I think our Brian was probably with us. But um, I had a gate post and like one of those concrete pebble ones, you know, like a you know hard old school like 70s one. My entire face was fucking hanging off down here. And uh, I think my mom for years was picking out um, gravel. You know, like it just, you know, that much embedded. I spent the entire six weeks of um, school with this massive fucking cast over my face. Still remember, like, looking out the wing mirror of my mom because mom was panicking trying to get us to hospital because I was fucking bleeding everywhere. Like, looking at it going, well, oh, it's interesting. <laughs> You know, but now, now you can see it. And the reason I say that for, because, like, I'm not a massive cyclist. Um, I cycled when I had to in New Zealand um, to get around to, like, video shops and stuff like that. But um, cyclists in England, man, are fucking, honestly, they, it, think they're indestructible. Um, just sitting in traffic there, that roundabout, and one cyclist came down the left of us. One cyclist came to the right of us. One guy didn't have a helmet on. You know what I mean? If you're on the road, wear a helmet. Honestly, it's a life lesson learned the fucking hard way if you don't. But the considering there's a cycle path down the left side, and then there's a country walk path, also a cycle path where it's got give way on the right side, and they're just weaving in and out of traffic, and you're like, it's mental. I mean, have you seen how frosty it is? Are you mental? That's been ran over. Fucking terrifying these back corridors. It's like, hello. Just waiting for some lights to come on. That speaker sounds definitely broken. Mm hmm. But yeah, look. Watches and silver bullet are in stock. Crank 2's in as well. Burbs is in. Drop Dead Fred. Yeah, so this vlog. Dun dun dun. I ordered them to get them in. Oh, right, okay. Um, what am I doing? That's number three. Oh, 
suppose it's quite easy online to click a button, but when you've got to manually de-sticker and re-sticker these, I mean, come on, it's number day six. That should just be enough. But no, for that as well. And there's a one after this. It's David Atkinson. Oh, John, we're the happiest person in the world. Sorry about the turtle. <laughs> Paul Ray's gone as a gift. Let's have a haircut. Look at him. Look how sexy he looks like Corbin Dallas. So, where have you got us? Godzilla from the 1996. Um... Fucking not Godzilla. He's got no spikes in his back. It's big ass that. I've got a mint idea for him. Does he make squeaky noises? I don't know, mate. This is just my bag. I went for underpants and came up with Godzilla. Wow. I'm now in Newcastle, eh? Look at that. Dream machine. Driving up the road in my dream machine. A bit vertigo like for a wall, like it. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. He's Brett. Hiya. She's been here all day while I've been at work, fucking sticker and everything. <laughs> Massive shout out to Casper for sticking everything. He didn't have to sticker for me to have to de sticker. Cheers, mate. Enjoy your holiday, you prick. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is what we do just stare at the street. Bet not many people checked in with one of these bad boys. You bad boy. <laughs> so if anyone stares in the window, especially them over there, look, they'll be like, well, I'm trying to do some research over there, and now I'm getting watched. We'll not call him Godzilla because he's not really Godzilla because he's got no spine. He's not chunky enough to be Godzilla. So we'll call him Monkzilla. <laughs> yep, he's just going to stay there and just stare at the fucking window. It's not me. It's weird, but it's not me. What? I'm just, I'm just I've just got out of the shower. <laughs> it ain't me. It's not me, I'm Ron, you think? I don't know. I just got a whiff of it. Right. Can you smell it? Yeah, but you know. Oh, okay. I can smell it, but you know fine well I think it should be legalised, isn't it? Fucking smoking's worse. What? Domestic on camera! Yeah. Roar! Yes, yes, roar! The Godzilla files. He's not called Godzilla, he's called. I need a name for him? Albert. He's called Albert. The view of the Granger Market. Tomorrow will I find someone in there or not? Dun, dun, dun. So the Metro Center have confirmed Mega Event 2 with Jeff Moore. So I just need a message Jeff now. So yeah, we're coming a long way. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you're wondering what we're doing in a hotel. Remember when we said we'd go to York a few weeks ago? We couldn't go to York? Mm -hmm. Let's walk the hotel. Look at that. I like that. That's cool. Ordered the famous hanging kebab. Let's see what comes. Hi over there. Stop swinging, I'm going to eat you. Big ass bar. Tom Cruise is concocted, you're a concocted. There's a tree growing out the bar. I've actually been here a while ago, filmed a band, came out with Barney, Chambers and Bell. It was a great night out, that was been too long, that was been forced over. Tom Cruise made that cocktail, drink it. This lift is moving down. I understand that. <laughs> you won't get the, um, what do you call it for that, will you? Got a copyright? Yeah. I don't monetize. Got a copyright. The monument. King Kong swings off that. It is. Shut up. Lincoln. That's Lincoln. Lincoln. Geordie Kong oh, swings off yeah. that. Lincoln Lifeboat. This is different. Reminds me of Ghetto Gold. Thank you. 
One hander. Get him. Good man. The top definitely goes. <laughs> It's only 11 o'clock yet, but you just got done for fraud. We have fucking. I didn't get done for fraud. The card machine was like suspected fraud. <laughs> suspected fraud. Me and the wonder are one. <laughs> the traffic can go by. So quiet now. Right? Oh, do you know what I can see? Yeah. Probably not see. Turn the light off for us, if you can. Oh God, there's like 5,000 switches. Well, turn all them off, keep going. Oh, a bit more. Oh gosh, um. There you go, Newcastle, Newcastle. Right there. That's where we meant to see Robin Hood last year, but couldn't go to that because of fucking Covid either. <laughs> there's been a few things, that was one. So we've seen Big Trouble on China. But no. Suspection someone's left the light on. Look at that, could witness something right now. Feels like men at work. It's fucking terrifying this. What movie is on the hotel? Die Hard 2. Die Harder. Yep, okay. Followed by Mad Max 2. Road Warrior. Didn't last long for Mad Max 2, like, it just went from... Oh. What are you doing? I just beat the timer. One or two. Don't, don't, oh, need, don't, need don't shut the door on me neck. It's pretty. <laughs> I'm slipping. Oh, it definitely wasn't just a wee. Don't be nasty. Well, at least you don't leave us a present like last time. <laughs> a gift. A gift? Like a fucking mind in the sea. Um, yeah, just gonna get up and go and do some shopping around the castle and then head home. Um, we'll just send Paul Ray an amazing picture. At all hitting one and his reply is, what the fuck? Yeah, like, Whoop. Did you see that? What the fuck? Sorry Paul Ray, but thank you very much for my dinosaur. It's kept watch out the window all night. I've got an idea what to do with this. Probably not be in this video. Uh, but I wanna come, Albert, he's called. I want to um, try and do an homage to Godzilla for the new um, outtakes video, which I don't think Abel Baham will be too happy that his duck will no longer be in the outtakes, but hey, got to keep changing this up, you know, and I definitely need a haircut. There's patchy work going on here. All right, been too long. You can now see the castle, though. So here we are in the Granger Market. It's the only place we could find it. We're going to almost at half nine. So trying to plan a route. I buy one thing. I buy one thing because I had some money spare. So we meant to go to Barcelona. We did go to Barcelona last year. We meant to go and see Bring the Horizon. They cancelled the week before. We couldn't return the tickets. But because of tickets, we would sell the tickets two days ago. So for forty pounds each. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yesterday when I seen Derek Atkinson, his front cover his new album, his photo would have been taken right there. I didn't have no idea it was going to be here, so this is a proper coincidence, but yep, his new album coming out soon. What's Tastes the matter? Like strawberries. Harry Styles. And Taylor Swift on the same And show. what's on the top shelf? A sloth? No, on the top left. I am over the moon when I've just found a movie relics. It's absolutely mint. Recent relics. You have to wait till I get home. I'm now back at work. I haven't even been home yet because there's a Goonies t-shirt, but I do need, look, two copies of Nicolas Cage's new film. 
the old way, one for myself and one for the legendary Mighty Connor, because it's Nicholas Cage. We're back in the car, now you drive home, like a normal day. It's like getting finished on an early shift. At least the boot has opened. All right, so the boot is not broken. It was just solidly frozen shut yesterday morning. Okay, bye-bye. I'm trying to sort out, hi, Gran. Hi. <laughs> trying to sort out my Gran's thing, and the one talk to us, apparently. As each just sitting right next to us. Why can't you, like, sort this out? They've charged her. No, hang I'm not asking you, you don't even know what I rang for. I haven't even got any hold music now. Hi, Mum. Hi, Stephen. Can you see? Because if you look, turn around. I'm a shadow. You can't, I, you can't see out. The left behind is Glenn's artwork. But you need to calm down. You have your boots. What's in my dreams? Glenn's been painting look. Yeah. Right, we're going home. Decided to do the full lap on Elm Games Galaxy, which is ever expanding. We're running out of money. Good run. So we're still not home. Um, we're in Games Galaxy. Uh, Nick needed a lift who owns Games Galaxy. We're just dropping him over here in the car wash. I've been meaning to come to the car wash for days. My car is minging. I don't think it's been washed since. Um, where did I drive to? Not in Sheffield. I give it a quick hand wash outside the house, but uh, it needs a proper buffing. So, and then I'm done. This is the most romantic day on Valentine's Day ever. Now in the car wash, haven't even got home yet. So my fault you had to do jury duty and can't come out of play. Right, okay, finally home. So yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna try and do something with that. Maybe it's tonight, I'm not sure, depending. No, not tonight. Not tonight. We'll, uh, we'll do some of that at some point. So you can just go out of the way for now. There's a lot of stuff to unbox, but first off, ting! <laughs> Massive shout out to Karen, my boss at work. Uh, this came in at work, uh, one of our clear out t shirts. Lovely fit, actually. And then my mum's new blue hat. And that she made us. So basically, I've got, I'm looking at four bags, technically three bags. So um, there's a part of me thinking that this should be an extended version, but it's not going to be. So you've seen the vlog. You know, it's been so random to this point. Now I just have to stand here like a stand-up skit. Now, as I stand here right now, I've been at work for six days. So I'm filming this on the smaller camera. Normally I film on a bigger camera, but it's just off to the camera. Off to the camera. There was stuff filmed early on in the week. Before that, um, I need to sit down in a couple of days' time and, like, let it all go on the computer and go, right, this bit needs to go to that bit, that needs to go to this bit. So... I will probably rant about other stuff or videos I haven't even made yet. So, um, first off, while we're talking about other videos, um, I will be filming an outtake after this. I managed to finally find a frame today for that. That is to do with my tournament Japanese thing. That, yeah, pretty much works. So I'll be framing that as an outtake. So I picked that up for 140 from a shop. It was the last shop. I was like, right. Now, on other videos, um, I'm doing one about money train and I believe it, believe it or not, now I need to keep this. I need to bend this because this one was by my door and it said buy your door. There's one that says back to the depot. So I came home today and that one says back to the depot. I says, can you absolutely fucking believe that? No reply. What do you mean? No answer. Knock, knock. Over. So again, didn't fit the letterbox. There's a clear sign saying, please just put stuff in the brown bin. I'll give next door a knock. But again, it's better than just... Where is it? <laughs> so that's probably going to cross over to Money Train video. So that's that out of the way. Um, picked up some bottle of classic Coke from Nick. Ended up giving Nick a lift to the garage. Nick owns the Games Galaxy. And freezing cold, well priced. You know what I mean? This should be like paying £2.50 a bottle. It's like one fifty. I mean, mate, classic Coke. So mm -hmm. I've just been to obviously the car wash. Two of my back rims are scrimmed. Back rims are scrimmed, marked. I was like, fuck me. Right, look at Right, so, unboxing. First off, from Reflex, I picked up a steelbook of Death Race for 1 and It's part of the weird 
Um, Universal, they did a few of these. They did do Highlander and King Kong in Germany, uh, but they did bring a few of these out. Uh, this has been stood on, this has been stepped on, this has been... I don't need to open this, but I am just for this video. I purposely bought this, you know. This has seen a lot better days, but Reflex is always handy for gems. It's quite a small store, but it's really small. It's part of the Granger market. And I've picked up, um, in the last time I was in there, I picked up like the It vinyl, um, really cheap. Um, Brit picked up the Sons Vanity box set on Blu-ray, ridiculously cheap. So there you go, it's finally out of its packaging. Is it going to open? Right, nah, it's <laughs> opened in half! See, you couldn't, you know what I mean? I do have it on Blu-ray anyway, but again, it's got the unrated DVD, the Blu-ray disc, and the concrete by uh, Paul W. Anderson, obviously known for creating Resident Evil, but more importantly created Event Horizon, um, is on there. But that is totally, totally bust. But I do have a steelbook collection, so that'll go on the shelf. Um, but yeah, that's totally good. Look at that. But hey, one ninety nine. I might just. I'm, I'll see about getting a shrimp in our box at work, <laughs> and see if I can rehouse that one. But yeah, I'll find out when Casper's birthday is again. Should know that, but <laughs> just give him that. Right. So, as you can probably know from the rants, um, we ended up in the hotel last night because. We couldn't go use the hotel. We've got two hotels rolling by different companies that we haven't been able to do. One was because of COVID and one was because of scheduling conflicts. Another one, I mean, one of the things we've done recently is use uh, Twickets really well. So this hotel last night was someone we meant to use later on last year. The rolling story about the one we used in York, it's the same hotel from New Zealand, the same chain company. This uh, We got given a gift voucher and we haven't been able to use it. It's like cursed. It's been for, like three years ago today, we were around New Zealand, we're probably, you know, I think popped up in memories yesterday, me, Brit and Calm were in the caves of New Zealand, so check out Welcome to IT or Door, cheap plug there as always, but when we got the money refunded from the Barcelona ticket, so we were meant to go to Barcelona last year to see Bring the Horizon and did remember, we went to Barcelona, but the gig was cancelled a week beforehand, and Ryan and I were absolute twats about it, because the week after we came back, that we could then reschedule the flights. So every time we reschedule the flights, I think it was £80 per person. I'm saying, well, these are cheap flights to begin with. So we ended up going to Barcelona anywhere. Check out Welcome to Barcelona. Double cheap plug. <laughs> so it wasn't until we recently sold some tickets on Twickets, uh, Brick went, oh, I'll put them on. And not thinking, do you know what I mean? And uh, they sold within 20 minutes, which was mental. So we each got like £45, which is essentially a Christmas present from last year. So... That was me going to town a day. Valentine's Day last night, got the meal and stuff like that. So I'm kind of budgeting myself. Britt bought some um, boots. So she might appear in the outtakes with her boots. I'm not sure she will. Um, but yeah, there's bags. There's four bags here. So I'm just going to rob and grab, all right? I am going to be talking for at least 20 minutes. But this is only tree entertainment. So three DVDs. I paid £3 each for them. These have all been resealed. Now, when a charity shop reseals them, these have been resealed, or actually they've got replay stickers on. So that the pro I've just probably picked up someone's actual batch, um, a pound each. So I got the gumbo, six gumbo three thousand, uh, six days in May. I've got quite a few of the gumbo movies, but I haven't seen that one. Do love I like the the way the vlog, and I always look at them and appreciate how it's edited because there's a lot of storytelling there. You know, like. Is that real or isn't it? You kind of look at stuff. Uh, Shallow Grave, um, as I say, classic movie. And then I got Blowback. Now, I believe I've seen this, but Mario Van Peebles, who made one of the best movies of the 80s, 90s, which is New Jack City, and has been involved in quite a lot of stuff, has made some very strange and questionable movies. And this one stars him and the guy who openly admitted, James Relmar, who uh, Caston by Jeffrey? Can you fucking believe that? Caston by Jeffrey? Not anything else, just Caston by Jeffrey? That's fucking mental, but yeah, he's made some really weird films like Eclipse and that. But at the end of the day, Seven meets um, McCandle and Candizant, graphic serial killer. So I spent £3 on them. Um, right, so next up in the same bag. We got the HMV award, which was used on my awards video over the weekend. That came to live here. Um, 
I think that's already popped up in the vlog, hasn't it? And then, okay, so a different rant. This right here, loose in its box. Make sure you check out the Fortress video. So there's another video that hasn't been filmed yet. Brief story about that. I found a film called Fortress. It's a, like something I've been after for, since I was a kid and it came loose in the box like that, believe it or not. And I went ballistic with them over on eBay. And they're a big company who sold it, so it's not like me shouting at somebody else like myself and going, hey, you know, because shit happens, you know what I mean? I could post that, I understand that. But like, as someone who deals with DVDs and shit like that, the certain kind of, like, you know what I mean? If a DVD's in there, it's pretty much in there. Um, I mean, except Death Race for what it is. I knew what it was when it came. But I don't expect a company to charge full, like, rare price for a cheap five ninety nine on new DVD. It came, it rattled in its box. I went, what are you doing? They said, we'll pick some of it. So I picked two films. That'll be King Cobra. The other one was Cuffs, which is just here. The American import. So it says Cuffs, Cuffs. So you know what I mean, it's a fucking, it's Canadian actually, Canadian flags on the side. So I got that, but I got cuffs, and then they said, okay, now I went, what about King Cobra? And then they went, you can only have one. I went, what? Well, what about the nine pound difference? And they had a right fiasco, they weren't going to, I had to copy and paste the trade and standards bullshit to them. So they give us the nine pound back, and we bought King Cobra, and believe it or not, King Cobra's came loose out of its fucking box. They're fucking unbelievable. Right, so there's a bag from Concert. And then there's two, there's still four bags. So I lied when there was only four. So more charity shop buys. This was six DVDs for a pound at another charity shop. So that gets rid of that bag. We've got Message in a Bottle that Brit's been wanting to watch for ages. We've got Alien vs Predator 2 Requiem, um, mainly for the audio commentary. Um, because me and Carl have talked about doing Alien vs Predator. Gone with the Wind, the four disc special collector's edition. So, like, fuck, fuck me straight away, there's Hyra. Uh, jump cut. Meanwhile, in the jump cut, there's Brit's Boots. Dun, dun, dun. So, jump cut, Brit's Boots. You know, knock at the door, what do you do? Um, okay, so yeah, gone with the wind. Remember, these are free for a pound, six for a pound, like crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, we've got Mr. Bean, obviously, Rowan Atkinson is from around here, and I've seen Mr. Bean in New Zealand um, back in the day. We've got nine 3D cover. And last but not least, someone I, I remembered get wanted to get, Sylvester Stallone will be part of the good, the bad, and the what the fucks. And it was great to get uh, Spy Kids 3D and has no glasses. But I've got me Freddy Krueger, Freddy's Dead for glasses. But again, wanted to review it. Um, I was waffling on about this the other day as well when I looked at Expendables 3. So anyway, the next charity shop for a pound. So considering I paid a pound for them and a pound for this. Didn't even know this existed, so this is America's Dream. I only had this on a four-way, you know, when you get the cheap DVDs and there's one there and that. So picked this up, and this is Wesley Snipes in the mid-90s, so this is after Demolition Man and stuff like that, so it's pretty weird that this would come along. Uh, prison video, so they did like quite a few films on the early days, and it is st it's also stars Danny Glover, and it's, you know, it's a, it's a heritage tale about the res America, um, and it's three stories. Which I don't think it really it describes on the back that it is, but it is three chapters. This was covered in the Wesley Snipes, not the last one, the one before that. But it's got silver flashing going on with the writing and stuff like that. So happy to hell to have that in the Wesley Snipes collection. So that was a score. So that's pretty much the DVDs at a pound a day, along with this DVD that's falling the bits. So that's just normal charity shopping. And you can get them at any point. Going to Newcastle, I don't get to go as often as I would like, and there is always, you know, I always worry about the triangle of death, I call it, Vinyl Guru, Beatdown Records, and Beyond Vinyl. Unfortunately, Beyond Vinyl is moving. I think it's only moving up and up the street, but Vinyl Guru never seems to be open, and then Beatdown Records, you know, and Beatdown Records is the place to go, like, that is like high fidelity kind of record shops. Um, and looking in there, but I, I never know what I want to look for. If I'm going to a record shop, I'm going to look for therapy. I'm not going to like that. Um, and soundtracks, you know, that's where I collect when it comes to vinyl. Um, so you got that, and then you've obviously got up the road. You got Windows, and believe it or not, when I walked into Windows, there was three people I knew who worked there. There was Phil, Nicky, and I don't know, Phil, Nicky, and Matty. 
um, who all, like, again, I've been talking to Phil recently about being in one of the music videos because he can play sax and stuff like that. And I was just like, wow, I totally forgot how big Windows is upstairs. But they get all the stuff like um, all the Mondos and all the import stuff, but they come with a fair price. And I've often fancied Child's Play, the remake. Didn't really enjoy the movie, but I enjoyed the soundtrack and even the documentary on the DVD about the composer, Bears who made it out of weird, and it's got weird Chinese kid stuff going on there, and he's talking over £50. But again, I had that £45 refund, but where did I want to spend it? Now, believe it or not, I ended up in the Granger Market, where you seems to have food, and you've already seen me outside of movie relics, or recent relics, and they, they popped in this guy from time to time, and he can, he can be hit or miss. One time you can engage in a conversation, two times you can see he's already preoccupied and he's just like, oh, you know, because again, I can see he kind of like has like his computer, he does this, he's, you just look around and marvel. Um, and a few times I've asked him about Waterworld and um, today, must have caught him on a good day because he started digging. And this is, you can look at this in two ways. This is something I really want because I'm a fan of Waterworld, but this will be a completely separate video. So this will be part of, I'm going to take time, like I did with the last Ronin video and talk on Razor. I'm going to set the cameras up over the weekend and really look at these. But I managed to get three still sealed figures of them today. Two from Waterworld, one from another film. He has got the 499 stickers on, which I'm going to take off. I was happy to pay the price they came out. Um, so that's come off there. So these are from 1995, uh, the Marin, Kevin Costner, still boxed. Uh, nice artwork, um, as you can see Kevin Costner's likeness on there, and then you've got the old collection on the back, so you've got the Deacon, Nora, uh, the, Al the Atoll Enforcer, then two different variants of Kevin Costner actually, and then you've obviously got the boat, but uh, Kenner as well, you know, Kenner, and it's cool, when you see Waterworld you always associate me blue, but as I said what I'll do is I'll take time and have a good look at these and uh, get me collection together because there's the Deacon as well so I'm really happy to have them they're going to have to find some kind of space so where I'm looking where the camera is because Waterworld is right behind this camera I want to look at maybe moving some stuff around and yeah put these up there I used to have a last action hero figure and I think the story goes way back to him actually because my friend Paul has got autism same age as me he's been harassing me now for about two years wanting my spine my spy, all right, and uh, I love Paul the bits. Uh, he's got a heart of gold, and uh, one of his films, Last Action Hero. Paul took great time, you know, for ages hiding Black Rain at work until Black Rain became discontinued. Every time Paul came in, that was his thing with me. He would hide Black Rain, and uh, it wouldn't be hidden, hidden. Do you know what I mean? But he would just be like, ah. and when he comes in now, Last Action Hero, Last Action Hero. So I had uh, still boxed uh, Jack Slater, um, Last Action Hero figure, which I give to Paul. And I gave it to Paul for his birthday, and his mum was over the moon. Paul was 40. Paul was just a little bit older than me, and uh, his mum was over the moon. And I said, like, it, it's an original man, still in his box. He went, that's probably how it's going to go on the shelf. Like, when it goes when, when it goes in Paul's backpack, you know, he wants it. He just goes, yeah, <laughs> you know, but that's just him. So, again, I used to have Last Action Hero and just that era. But, like, I'll go in that more with that video because I think what gets lost and, like, what Theo tries to get across as well certain franchises and certain toys you didn't have the internet back then if you were lucky enough to get taken to Lenny Castle and go to Fenix and you would see the Thundercats on display or you would hit the high streets if you were up here it just depends on what discounted range I had a lot of visionary figures because they were cheap you know but they'd seen the time you know everyone went nuts until going to Toys R Us knocking down Toys R Us you know, you know what they should have did? We're knocking down Toys R Us. Different rant, but we're still in the North East. They should have said, right, we're knocking it down. Who wants a brick? And sell the bricks. I would have bought a brick. I've got a concept brick behind us. Anyway, the other item I've got is Stargate. And it is Colonel O'Neill, Colonel Jack O'Neill. Uh, Kurt Russell's likeness on there, which is pretty cool. Obviously, Richard Dean Anderson's taken over on the TV series. It's got Rookard, Daniel Jackson. Um, I am um, nine and a half seasons into Stargate. I'll be watching it. Been an ongoing thing for a while. Really enjoyed it. Just what I need to put us to sleep. It really is. Uh, but to get that, it's pretty cool as well. So that was it. So when he started digging, he started Stargate. That came out. 
But this guy, as I said, he has to take everything out to get in there. So, again, nice enough guy. So there's two bags left. And we'll go for Forbidden Planet next. Uh, in Forbidden Planet, there was um, a last run figure. £45. But he's unarmoured. Now, I, I said that because you can see the shot. Carl's got him. Um, I was tempted. Um, cause sometimes Forbidden Planet has like the new edition stuff. They've had the double packs before. Again, it was just like, you go there, you don't want to know, and sometimes it's like, ooh. But again, what did I buy a day? I went completely different from what I would do. I was straight out of the bag, the old ways in there. So I actually bought myself a copy. Was it me and Matty on my and Nicholas Cage fans? That goes in the good, the bad, and the what the fuck's file. Because Nicholas Cage is on his way. And then I picked up some graphic novels. Now I recently ran, ran, read. Get get my water. I've only got one bag left after this. We're getting there. Recently read last one. And I haven't read a graphic novel for a while. Even though I've been appearing in graphic novels. Have you watched a lot of stuff? I need a. I found it interesting. I found a bit of love there, especially being a fan of the turtles, so I read that. So I want to specifically go to Forbidden Planet and maybe see if they had any of the older turtle stuff. They had one of the volumes, but it was like volume 12 and it was £65. Pound. I was like, well, that's really risking it, you know, going in at series 12. So I wanted to start something different. And I picked up a few things. So first up, looking a bit like Blade Runner, it's Wesley Snipes in The Exile, which is a graphic novel, his likeness, his story, which I think they are trying to turn into a movie. Obviously, they're trying to build the fan base, um, and I know this is only part of the issue, but I want to get there with it to be honest with you. But I'll give that a read. But that's pretty cool. I think it's totally Blade Runnerish, but you know, I know what. Um, next up is Hook Joe. Um, this totally just screamed what if stories. Um, if Tarantino rebooted Blue Planet, um, as I say, it was in clear off at two ninety nine. It's a full story. It's got a fucking awesome looking shark, and I looked and I went, this has got some awesome looking sharks. Yeah, I'll give that a read. But the main thing I wanted to go there for, and I've looked at this a few times, and I thought, I'll get it, I'll get it. And then obviously the Super Bowl hit the other day, and they're on about Michael Keaton being back as Batman. And I've been kicking myself. And Paul Ray has been looking out for this for a while. And there it was today, Batman 89. So this was only £20, which is pretty cool. But this is basically um, a kind of what-if story as well. Um, two fears on the back. Um, and Robin's in it as well, um, but it's always been sealed, so I couldn't sit there and work and go. <laughs> and then when I went to buy it, it sold because we only had the one copy. So I'm unfamiliar where the story is. It looks like it takes after the events of uh, um, Batman Returns. Catwoman looks to be back in Two Face. The correct Two Face seems to be taking control, but yeah, nothing for that. And that's essentially where I spent my money. Now, when I went to Beyond Vinyl, Beyond Vinyl. You go in there and you can see he's getting ready to move, so he had stickers on loads of stuff. Um, I was just like, do I do not want anything? I had a look around. You know, he gets really cool stuff and he's got signed E17 stuff. You know, Sam Fender signed stuff there. He's a massive supporter of local artists as well. And I was just like, Ugh. and I looked at it and looked at it and there needs to be a jump cut right now. Here's the outtake. That's one side, looks cool. So an expanded score, I mean I love this the bits, but when you turn it over, look at that man, what a bad placement for that. It's like, yep, machine gun dick, when it's spinning away, you're like, right, okay, that's definitely not being put in the right place. But again, I'm looking forward to listening to this. So you've seen the jump cut, I already own the Matrix on vinyl, um, but it's a very, who's this? Hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Where are you? Somewhere in the world. Oh, you've just seen the gremlins. Gremlins not means means it's been a break on the tip. Um, I've got to go. I've got to get interviewed for a magazine. Believe it or not. Um, right. Right. So where were we? Matrix. So again, the guy's moving. Um, and this was a record store day one. It's a Matrix expanded vinyl, so it's all free. Um, just in black, it has been released in green. But again, I love the Matrix score. I love the music when it came out. I love the first movie. And I like the fourth one. I'm not a fan of the follow-ups. Um, I remember being mega disappointed in the second one out of the pictures. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to open this up. This is triple vinyl and 30% off. Um, he did have other stuff there. One of the shockers, and I, I could have bought one and like sat in for a while, but I didn't want to again. I'm trying to budget. Go some Mars, 50% off, man. 50% off, and, and you know, it's a red vinyl, and that's the one. Uh, Glenn, who I also seen today for Ben Planet, queued for for us and went. So that comes off. As I say, there'll be no Matrix dick, but again, this is it's this vinyl in it. This is what makes this fucking awesome. It falls out like a telephone box, which is cool, but then obviously the fault with it is the vinyl in the middle could come flying fucking out. So yeah, as I say, all black vinyl. Oh, but nice black, look, wake up, Neil. That's, I mean, again, an extra touch, but yeah. So that's the last thing they did, and I can kind of look at, that is probably, that that was the alternative, by the water world stuff's fucking awesome. But yeah, I seriously need to have a go for this interview. I'm not going to get ready, but I need to get sat down and it's like a freeway call between the, the event and stuff. Scratch my head. I'll see you in the outtakes. <laughs> So, here in the outtakes, I am literally waiting to find out what time this interview is. Um, in the meantime, Fritz went, Go to pen! So, today is Valentine's Day. And got Britain out what it was about. Uh, let's have a look. In the grand scheme of things, we're just two little blips in the universe. It's totally true. It's got Stargate written all over it. Oh, it's money. Come on. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. You're the loveliest little blimp I could ask for. Lots of love and woos from Britbow and the Stink, also known as Hyra, the Wolf. Yeah. Thanks, Brit. Uh, next outtake. So back to the vlog, aren't we? Um, I'm just about to get ready to do the interview. Jeff's joining us on the call. And I found that when I was doing my tournament. So the tournament's framed, right? So this, this is going to appear in what is in there. So. That's a really old photo of the tournament behind it, and then I found that, which is from Cooper, who I was on the phone to, was doing jury duty. I hate you, always have, always will. Love, Cooper. Uh, <laughs> it's just random shit lying around. No, I seriously, I unboxed your card on camera. I said, I love you. Okay. I think I did. I have now, anyway. Yeah, I do love Brett. It's an awesome card. Next out, Ted. What a long ass day. So the event gets announced in about half an hour, but I'm going downstairs to order some food and watch a film. I'm shattered. Um, Barry Kirkham was a fucking absolute legend. Um, me and Barry go way back. Um, so that was awesome. But Barry has this crazy ass fucking vlog. Um, Jeff's been interviewed. I've just been interviewed. It's all going away. So yeah, um, announcements at half seven. Article comes out tomorrow. I've read. The Wesley Snipes, it's only like part one. So I've read it, I've enjoyed it. I've started on the uh, hook jaw. I'm um, just because I was trying to be quiet in the background. I was I cleaned a few things and moved a few things around, but again, Barry's typing away and I'm like, oh, try and pay attention. But yeah, I'm literally going to put this camera down now. I'm done for the day. What a long day. Jump was back on because it's fucking freezing in this room. Right. Unless there's any updates or I missed anything in any outtakes, goodbye for now. Hello, so it's the next morning, um, I was going to end the vlog after I seen it last night, the interview went really well, I've seen the published article that's come out this morning, um, we're up because of the post office thing, and I need to take bricks because if you watch the Corey Hames sign photo video, which I'm over the moon with, um, I got in a bit of a trouble at the post office, because I get angry at them. <laughs> uh, you two people can live at the same address, so it's for Brit, so it could be something for Brit. It could be something for Brit, but again, I believe it's Wolf. I think that's what it is, so I'll find out. And if it is Wolf, it's a completely different video. Here's the petrol station that scuffed me tyres. Brit's forgotten to bring the red little thing. I mean, it just says your name and your address. It's not like it's got a code on it. Actually, you know, I've actually got it upstairs. The one that says, no reply. Um, so yesterday when I gave Nick, um, just to waffle on here, when we gave Nick a, a lift to pick his car up, um, we were following a, a Micra, 
and it was a learner driver and they were literally doing the like the 15 miles hour i mean license to drive everyone's got to learn to drive whatever um and because of the color the color of the car we couldn't work out if someone had bumped it or it was a really bad design because there's a car right in front of us right now and i can't want to show you it because of its reg but i can tell you right now it's a really bad design it literally looks like it's been hit but the reflections of light don't go well so yeah i'm waiting she's at the door I'm not letting her in oh there's a big queue awkward she was actually the first person i thought she was standing in a queue normally there's a queue right down the road especially when i was last time oh you're sweet um but uh she was standing at the door going, hello for britboard let me in let me in for my puzzle i'm just waiting just waiting mm, that's definitely not a vhs have we ordered someone else I actually ordered frogs during the other night a bit pissed. Oh. Hello from Britpool. It's definitely an E driven. It's definitely an E that well that's the biggest for your chest ever. <laughs> it's got really? an eBay poster on it. To be continued. It is Wolf! You get some genuine rage here. Every time she comes to this machine, it's never <laughs> it's always full. So we'll know. If it doesn't pop open. And we'll get in. We'll get a genuine. Oh! <laughs> Did I was right. Oh, rage! Rage! The rage is coming towards. How can all that be full? Like, yeah. Full? Yep. That's shocking, that. Okay, it's Thursday morning. I still haven't downloaded any cameras. I still haven't got to any form of editing. <sighs> right, so this is the end of the epic, epic vlog, right? There's two parcels came last night and I can't work out. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, this is ridiculous fast post considering we were sitting in the bar, um, the Bion bar, on Tuesday night. And this is when we ordered these two things because, you know, Bion's not cheap. <laughs> I went for it and I don't like going to the bar. So I went to the bar and like... Oh, I'll get you this for going to the bar. Paul Ray's fault. And I don't, it's probably been already messaged, but I didn't expect it to come so quick. So there's two parcels, right? The only thing I'm missing is a parcel from um, that. Now, I'm going to tell you what that is, but I'm going to put that in the Fortress video. So that's Frog Streaming on Blu ray. That just came ridiculously fast. I will talk about Frog Streaming in the Fortress video and cross that over to this as well because. There's someone about, I mentioned Frog Stream, and I think Frog Stream needs to be in that video. But then this! <laughs> I was scared. Oh! Like a t shirt. Um, as I said, I've wanted this for a while. I hope it's mine. It is, it's mine. That's ridiculously fast. Reality glitch. Oh God, there's a building address and a shipping address, and the, obviously the my address. So it's only from Cambridge. I thought, it was, I thought, it was, I thought it was where I live here. Here it is. So it comes tagged. <laughs> Get in. I couldn't such <laughs> It's a Sasquatch t-shirt. I'm not sure how long that's going to last, mate. You know? I mean, it has just been stuck on there. But yeah. £10, free postage, fast postage. I think the more that's washed, the more it might look. But yeah, Pigfoot's real, so it's a lot less monster. Right, this is the very end of this vlog. And I'm just going to say it. Bye!